just waiting on a call back to see if I'm getting admitted again. Does anyone else just get the feeling that the world's not made for them? They just don't fit in. Kid. So, this is my room. Um, it definitely is feeling like a much more nurturing environment than the last ward that I was in. And this time we're going to really, really try and get better. Wish us luck. Uh. Coming at you from the psych ward. Again. How you doing? <laughs> so, in Queensland, Australia, it's actually illegal to smoke on a hospital medical or medical um, property, government-owned medical property, because obviously smoking's not good for you. They're promoting good health, um, which I think is good. I'm just sitting outside. You have to go off the ground to have a cigarette, so it's not that bad. It's lucky you even allowed to have one in a psych ward. Some psych wards don't let you have cigarettes at all because it's, it's a drug, like nicotine's a drug. But um, I'm glad that they're letting me have them. It's kind of actually pretty chill sitting out here. <sighs> I'm all crazy in the room now. been a long 31 years. Oh. I think we might be in this room for a while. That's good. I think that um, there's probably a lot of other people that need rooms like this as well out there. This place is really nice, they have lots of treatments, um, I get to see a doctor, my, I get to see my doctor tomorrow and um, talk about treatment options and there's lots of group therapy and um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I need to heal while I'm here that I need to sort out and get back on top of, but um, I don't know, I think any situation gives me anxiety after the trauma that I've been through and not just the recent trauma but all of it, like a lifetime of being used and abused by friends, friends or boyfriends, ex-boyfriends. I'm lucky, very lucky enough to have a supportive family because without them I'd be gone by now.